Welcome. In this video you will learn how to build a Telegram smart chat bot using Node.js. Before we start building our Telegram smart chat bot, there are three things we need to do. For ease of following this video, I encourage you to use Visual Studio Code Editor which is free. And if you have not have Node.js installed please do so. There are plenty of good guides on the internet that can help to do that. Lastly, in order to make your bot smart, go to Wit AI and get yourself sign up for free. Create a folder for this project and open that folder through Visual Studio Code. Open up the integrated terminal as well. Like any other Node.js application, we going to start off with initializing a project by creating a file, package.json, using npm in it. By default it will ask some questions, just answer those accordingly. In my case, to speed things up, I will just press enter all the way. Next we need to install the dependencies that is needed for the chatbot. For our dependencies, we need to have Telegraph, which is a library for Telegram bot, .env, which is a module where you can store your environment variables and node wit, and SDK to integrate to wit AI from Facebook. Let's wait a while until all the necessary dependencies are loaded. Now that it's done, let's start coding. First we need to create two files, index.js which will be our app startup, followed by .env file to store bot token that the bot will use to identify itself when querying Telegram's API. To simplify this video, I will not explain on how are you going to create the bot and get the token from Telegram. There are plenty of resources out there that can help you to do that. Once you have create a bot using Botfather, you will be given a token, please enter that into your .env file without double quoting and save it. Now we can dive right into the index.js file to code the chatbot. There are a lot of examples you can refer to in the Telegraph's GitHub website to start off with. It's quite simple to have the bot to listen and reply to the bot users. We start by loading all the required libraries and environment variables needed to get the chatbot to work. We also need to get the bot to listen to conversation and respond accordingly. We move on to test the chatbot by sending a message to the bot. The bot was coded to respond to any text sent and reply with a hello there. It works as expected, but if was a very dumb respond and it very difficult to program a bot to respond intelligently from scratch. In this case we rely on WIT AI and Natural Language Processing NLP, interface that turns natural language, speech or text messages into structured data. So head on to WIT AI and get yourself registered. After registration you need to create a new app. Give it a name that you can relate to what you want this NLP to do or anything. Go to the settings to get the token. Copy the token under the server access token and paste it into the .env file as the wit i token without the double quoting as written on the screen. Now that we have got the wit ai set up, we are going to test it out by sending a hard coded hello message to wit i and see if everything is okay. Insert the code as shown into the bot on text function between line 6 and 7. Execute the index js with node mon or node. As the hard-coded hello message is inside the bot on text function we need to trigger it but sending any text to the bot. There is a reply coming back together with some debug log that I added which is optional. This mean wit I received the hard-coded hello. If I go to my wit I and check it, I should see hello displayed. There is a pop-up message to prompt you to train your app. As we have not done anything, the word hello is new to wit I. As such the reply for wit i does not have any values on traits, entities or intent. Let's leave the training for later. If we go the wit i github page, we can find examples of code that can help us to capture the interpreted and trained respond from wit ai, so that we can get bot to respond accordingly. In this example I will build a bot that can pick up greeting messages and respond back with greetings. 
Create a new file and name it as nlp.js. To understand nlp.js codes, there are three sections. First section is an array of greetings that you need the bot to reply. You can add as many as you want. Second section is a function to analyze the wit AI's JSON respond. It will help to identify the traits or entity the message belongs to. Lastly the message handler section is to pair the result from second section with the appropriate message for the bot to reply. Back to the index.js with we need to do a few amendments in order for to pick up the telegram message and reply back to the bot users appropriately with the assistance from nlp.js. Comment out line 17 to disable to bot reply since we have not trained with AI. By doing so we will not get any reply from the bot. Replace line 12 to line 16 with the set of codes as displayed. This code is mean to pick up message from bot users and pass it to wit AI. Get the it respond and pass it to message handler in nlp.js and send the appropriate message for the bot to respond back to the user. Lastly you need to import the nlp.js functions. Let's test out the code again. The traits and entities do not have any value returned from WIT AI's JSON data as we have not done the training. So let's head back to the WIT AI page and do some training. In the understanding page, we can see latest hello messages with the lowercase h is the one that we just sent through the telegram. Click on the drop down button on the right. Click the add traits and you will see some built in traits available, find and select WIT greetings. Go to the intents and create a new intent called greetings. Now you can click the train to submit the data for training. Do the same for the rest. As you have created a new intent for greetings, that option will be available for you to choose in future. When it's completed, you can see the trained data set available under utterances. Now let's test our bot and see how wit AI respond. As we have commented out the bot reply, we won't be able to see any reply from the bot. But the respond will be captured in the console. Let's reactivate back out bot reply. Now our bot should be able to respond to our greetings. Let's test it out again. Congratulations, we just made ourselves a NLP-based smart chatbot. Let's see what happened when we send different type of greetings to the chatbot. Wow, the chatbot responded beautifully to, hi, even though we didn't do the training. What a smart bot, let's test out more greetings. As soon as we send a message to the chatbot, wit AI will pick it up as well. You may want to continue training those datasets to make your bot smarter. Well we are done for part 1, in the coming series we will try more advanced stuff. Source code of this guide is available for download using the link below. If you like this video, please support me by subscribing to my channel and hit the notification button. 
Thank you for watching.